So this is kind of a post tutorial on how to uh, change the frame for an AKG C414B ULS microphone. So don't ask me how, but I accidentally broke the frame of the mic, um, but I ordered a new one online. And uh, after I um, got it fixed, I thought I might uh, record a tutorial. Um, so hopefully this is helpful, even though I'm not gonna take apart the whole thing again, but I wanted to at least share and point out some things that um, initially were tripping me up, but I finally figured out. So um, I think the first one that was tricky is, yeah, basically the, um, the XLR jack, it comes from uh, the bottom, so basically you have to push it out from inside uh, the frame, push down this way, it pops out, and then you have to desolder um, the three wires and make sure to put them back, uh, solder them back in the right uh, order. Um, the other thing that was, uh, I guess, tricky was just figuring out the procedure of how to um, take apart the whole thing. So the obvious stuff first, there was the bigger screws and those uh, three little pieces of plastic. Um, but yeah, once I was inside, I found that the kind of the way to go was to, um, uh, first of all, um, I think probably do the little guys right there. And then um, maybe the, uh, the big ones here, those big four, and then inside the little guys first, and then the big ones next. And then there's uh, kind of a set of pins that are holding these two uh, PCBs together. So you gotta kind of uh, pull that apart uh, to separate the two um, boards, but uh, make sure to um, not have too much pressure applied to these little wires that are connected to the uh, high pass filter and uh, I think, what was the other one? The, uh, the pad, um, because they're definitely fragile and I uh, tore one off so I had to solder it back on. Um, See, so yeah, I definitely be careful with those things. And then um, once you've, uh, separated the two PCBs and um, unscrewed them from the frame, then uh, basically um, you can kind of uh, push this guy uh, forward. There's nothing really holding this plastic in once everything's unscrewed. Push it forward uh, so that um, it comes out um, this direction, kind of going uh, toward the camera. Um, and uh, you, you'll need to take out the wires from that little um, kind of notch they're tucked into. Um, and then uh, from there, um, you're basically good to uh, put all of the components into the new frame. And um, so that's assuming you've already desoldered the XLR uh, jack. And then um, once they're in the new frame, one of the most important things uh, I realized is that actually the um, the old uh, bolts that are holding in the uh, like the little um, selectors, um, the switch for the pickup pattern um, filter and pad. So these screws didn't actually fit into the new frame. So instead, um, I had to use um, M1.4 uh, um, six millimeter bolts. M1.4 six millimeter bolts. And those worked great at this awesome little uh, kind of like, I don't know, laptop replacement screw kit. I guess they're called screws, maybe not bolts, if they're really small, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, these guys right here, the M1.4, um, six millimeter. So yeah, you gotta use those uh, for um, reaffixing 
the uh, the switches. And then, um, yeah, putting it back together, I found it easiest to, um, I can't remember if I did the PCB or the switch. Either way was fine, but I found that some of the screws going into the PCB, they kind of were selective about which uh, thread they liked. So even though they're all um, the same size, uh, some of them just wanted to go in certain threads. So that, that was another thing, but yeah. I think the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory, but these are a few um, details along the way that I kind of thought would be helpful to know uh, going into this, but I didn't really see any um, any instructions online or uh, yeah, tutorials. So hopefully this is helpful and you can get your um, good old AKG 414 uh, back up and running again.